Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in Massachusetts, and I had to scroll past a couple of houses uh, that were more expensive than this because they, they just didn't have uh, any pictures to work with, which was extra disappointing because they were both in Nantucket, and I've got this fantastic poem about it I was going to share with you, uh, but alas... We are in a barn stable, which I've never heard of, uh, and we've got this really ridiculous looking mansion here for $30 million, seven beds, 14 baths. Uh, we're still, yeah, we're seeing those East Coast prices here. We are on the coast. We got some stairs down to the beach. Uh, so we've got some uh, protection against the impending rising sea levels. Uh, always, always nice to have. And let's see what this monstrosity has in store for us. Right, we've got two buildings, it looks like. I think they're connected by a, a breezeway between. Uh, we saw this in, uh, in Maryland, too, where you've got a, a main house and a guest house. Uh, what's interesting here is that the guest house looks to be about the same size as the main house. Uh, I wonder if you ever just, like, I don't know, you ever just get tired of living in the main house and you're like, why don't we just go live in the house behind our house for like a few months as a vacation? I, I think I would be tempted to do that. Uh, we've, of course, got eons of monoculture grass uh, mowed in just disgustingly straight lines by someone who is underpaid. We've got a pool, of course, and it looks like we've got some... Uh, extensive outdoor seating areas. This is the side of the house facing away from the ocean. I assume this is the side you drive up to. I think there's a, a garage hidden away in here. All right, we've got some gates to keep the riffraff out. You gotta keep the peasants from getting inside. And here it looks like this is our entryway. It's not a, a grand entryway, but it's very open. Uh, let's, let's find out how open concept. I do see lots of plants in here. Uh, I, I get annoyed when, when I look at these houses and they've got nothing but windows and no plants to enjoy all of that light. I've got all of my plants huddled by a couple of windows and, and these people aren't even taking advantage of it. But we've got some here. This view outside looks super fake. I, I suspect maybe that is photoshopped and sometimes they'll do that they'll they'll photoshop the view out the window or maybe it is just that green and blue who knows we've got a space that looks like we've got the dining area over here the living area over here we've got symmetrical furniture the rich love symmetry they don't know how to just buy one of a piece of furniture we've got some chuggy knife hand pillows that is chuggy behavior right there. Uh, and these ones were like too, too enthusiastically knife-handed. Those, those are just like sad and saggy now. And I, I love that they even did the symmetrical on this velvet blue couch. That's so much. In terms of color in the room, like yes, you've got pops of color with, with the blue in the carpet and the blue furniture. Uh, it is awfully white. It's it's very bright, but I guess I guess for a seaside space with all the big windows, maybe it is good to have some brightness in there. Uh, here's our Knights of the Round Table, and we've got some built-in shelving around the fireplace uh, that is being used for knickknacks and fish, fish knickknacks in case. And, and we've got a, a picture of the ocean in case you get tired of looking out the window at the ocean and you want to look at what it would look like if it was paint. Okay, it took me a second to realize that this was, in fact, a different seating area with yet another blue velvet couch. That's, that's an interesting thing to have multiples of. Because it's, it's not even the same identical couch. It's just a, it's an entirely different blue velvet couch. Interesting. Uh, of course, we've got symmetrical furniture. We have four of these bad boys. And we've got another dining room directly behind the sitting area. So they've really 
doubled down on that. This is all open concept, so everything sounds like a kitchen. You run the dishwasher once in here, and it's all over, baby. Looking into this kitchen area over here, I believe, I believe these doors here are a hidden refrigerator because you can't let them know you eat. You can't let them know you eat because if you eat, that means you can be killed. I do like the ceilings, the big vaulted ceilings, and it's rounded up there. That's architecturally interesting. Uh, you got this rounded front on the wall here. I like the lantern effect with the light fixtures. I feel like they've done it too many times. Like you could do, you could do a, a row of them or even, you know, just circle around one space, but what, now, now you've got two adjacent open rooms with different lantern styles. Also, there's 10,000 can lights in this ceiling. That is so unnecessary, absolutely. Here's the kitchen, and we have, yet again, we've got in addition to the island, which is lost in the sea of the kitchen, we have the sandbar for those stools to go at, because otherwise they would be right in the middle of the kitchen. We've got the stove and oven over here. We've got another windmill picture. We, we got some, some Don Quixote nonsense going on in this house. We've got a, a windmill fixation. I do like that they didn't make all of the cabinetry white. They, they went with a different color on these. This is a good balance of color in this room. It is very bright, but it's not uh, monochrome. It's not Pottery Barn. We got some yellow in here. We got some blue in this painting. We got fucking blue velvet couch. And then we've got our, our browns and grays. It's, it's a nice diversity. And we've got another round table. This one's got a bench seat at it. And this is the view out to the pool. And you can still see the ocean from it. I am wondering why we have the auxiliary chairs here. Are the, those for the help? Is there a leaf in this table? Can this expand? Uh, inquiring minds want to know. We've got a bedroom with absolutely massive ceilings. Uh, bed posts holding nothing up, of course. And some doors, two doors out onto the patio. You know, call me crazy. I think you could have gone with one door and then just made the other one's windows. Um, that's, that's just me, though. I think the fact that it looks like an enormous space is probably down to camera angle, but we'll have to see if we get another angle on the room. I do see a little sitting, just, just a single chair over there. I'm all right with a single chair in a room. Here's the bathroom, and it's, all right, I'm interested. I'm interested. First of all, we've, we've got a, a really high woodwork here, which they've, they've done the light color up top, which is the right thing to do. And we've got a light tile. So your, your color balance, it's not a colorful room, but in terms of your lights and your darks, you're nice and balanced. This, it looks like, is a, a shower right up against the window so your windows are serving as a shower wall which means this wood is getting soaked constantly and hey, this looks very open i hope they show us the rest of this i'm fascinated nope they're showing us a different bathroom uh this one also has a massive shower but at least it's got tile behind here this is a round bathroom so we, we had a lot of round shapes on this house. And of course we got our, our nautical themed ocean boat pictures because you can't look out the window and remember that you're on the ocean. Uh, it's a very bright room, which here's my thing on, on bright colors in bathrooms. It is fantastic first thing in the morning. You know, you go in here, you're feeling refreshed. When you're like trying to wind down at night though and you need to brush your teeth, do do you really want to step aboard this fucking blinding spaceship? I don't I don't know. I feel like that would make it hard to get all comfy cozy at night. Maybe that's what's wrong with these people. Uh you got all right, so you got the sink arranged. It is, you know what, I will give it that it's an interesting way 
to separate uh, the different elements of the bathroom. I'm assuming the toilet is like around a curve, which is a good way to, to make it so that you're not like immediate. You could be at the sink and not like right up on the toilet, but you don't have to put the toilet toilet prison. Oh, and we've got, this is a very round bowl-like uh, bathtub. At this point, I feel like it's not actually serving the purpose of the big bathtub because, you know, we as humans are not shaped like balls for the most part. We are kind of long, and so unless you're curling up in the fetal position in this bathtub, I, I, I'm just picturing, like, how do you... How do you get comfy in there? Are you, are you sitting up? Are you sticking your feet out this end and your head off that end? I, I, I don't know, it doesn't work for me. We got a landing, it looks like this is the front door up here. Uh, we've got a, a light fixture, we'll see if there's a foyer table down there and then we've got the, the balcony. It's not an efficient use of space, but I guess if you've got all the goddamn space in the world why not have massive ceilings that are super expensive to heat this looks like a guest bedroom because it, you know it's a, it's a hotel room it's a double queen uh you got a balcony that overlooks the ocean you got oh you've got a desk it's literally it's a hotel room and we've got another tub i love this window that's over the tub i will say that i'm very into stained glass, the leaded glass, and all of those intricate little details there. I'm into that. Another bedroom. All of these bedrooms are very bright colors, um, which again, great in the morning, invigorating. At night, maybe a little, little tough to get it dark enough to be cozy. Uh, we got a plant there. I'm suspicious that one might be fake. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure what's going on in the ceiling up here. It looks like maybe there's supposed to be a light fixture hanging here and it's been taken down. Another bathroom with a gigantic shower. And it looks like we've got a vanity area off here separate from the his and her sinks. And what the hell is this room? This might be part of an office. That's a big ass TV to have immediately adjacent to a little conference table uh you got porthole windows in case you forgot that <laughs> the sea is right there we gotta feel like we're on a boat at all times uh there's an airplane here you know what maybe that's why uh maybe that's why they're into those hotel rooms is because they they travel so much that they think that a hotel room is luxury here's the balcony i mean it's Here's the thing. I, I feel like people would, would take it for granted to say like, oh, what a spectacular view out here. You know, you get a view of the ocean. Counterpoint, it's blue. It's, it's literally just blue. I've talked about this before. I'm Midwestern. I'm not a big fan of the ocean. I think it's full of monsters. I also think it's, it's visually overrated. What are you looking at? It's just flat and blue and that's it there's nothing to look at i'm gonna get some feedback about that one i bet but i'm right i am this might be the guest house i'm i think this is another entrance way um got who sits here who's sitting here maybe the help the help sit here and they talk trash about uh, about their employers that's the only acceptable use for this sitting area right here. And we've got a billiards table. If your mansion doesn't have a billiards table, are you really rich? I don't think so. You need the billiards table. Uh, we got a TV watching room. I see, I see wine storage back here. So we are really ticking a lot of boxes all, all in one place. What is up with... Someone explain to me why they put the high top chairs next to the billiards table. Is it so that you can see the table from a higher vantage point while you're waiting for your turn? Um, for me, that's just, I'm a short person. That's just a difficult chair to get on. That's all that is to me. That's just, I think I'll stand because it's going to take me 
a, a weird little shimmy maneuver and too much time to get on top of it. All right, this We're still in the basement, which can lights for days. Dear Lord. Uh, and, and it looks like we've got like a bar area. Is that what this is? I'm very confused about how this space is supposed to. Yeah, here's our wine storage. Billiards table is over here. Is this where you're supposed to watch the TV from? No, we had comfy chairs up there. It's got to be just a bar. But what a weird little thing. Here's the wine storage. And it is well fucking stocked. Of course, we've got our <laughs> cliche picture of the Italian countryside over here. Uh, just in case we thought there was an ounce of creativity in this household. And, oh God. Indoor golf. An indoor driving range, of course. This is for old white men who are too pale to go in the sun for extended periods of time, so they descend to this basement and pretend to golf. Good job. This is a great use of your time. I'm glad that you are being paid so much to be so useless to society. Our oh, massage room. Uh, we love to see that. Uh, it's it's how we know that there are minorities being allowed in this house for reasons other than to clean. Uh, they also get to to perform massages. Mm -hmm. And we got a workout room, big TV. Uh, looks like man, not a huge diversity of machines here. Um, we might not be seeing all of it, but. Uh, I don't really see much in the, unless this is some sort of cardio machine here. Uh, I'm, I'm just mostly seeing a lot of free weights. We've got a living room with a dining, yet it, I'm so confused about the layout of this, these houses because this is the third living room, dining room combo. And I know I complain about putting two living rooms in the same space. But it is strange to me that there has not been one dedicated dining room. Um, it's it's all the combo. Oh, oh, I almost missed it. We also have a TV over the fireplace. A TV over the fireplace because we hate our electronics. And even more than that, we hate the child labor that's being used to harvest the minerals that are used in the microchips for these TVs, and we want to replace them on an annual basis to support the human atrocities abroad. Uh, we got some bookshelves with not that many books, but so many seashells. In case you forgot, hey, did you know <laughs> the ocean is right there? <laughs> did you know we're by the ocean? Have another seashell just to keep it in mind. Yeah, oh, wicker chairs, just to make sure you're you're uncomfortable, but feeling like you're outside. And we've got an outside dining area also. And it looks like we've got, that might be a fire pit dining area over there. Another kitchen. This might be the kitchen in the guest house, maybe? Except I really don't, I mean, they, they like to hide the fridge, but I really, really do not see a fridge here. Unless it's that. But I think that's just a wall. Where is the goddamn fridge? Maybe it's this this is this is the ultimate hide the fridge because it's literally not here. <laughs> you can't let them know you eat, which is no refrigerator. Nothing nothing that has to be kept cold. Uh you just buy new stuff for every meal. That's that's the way to do it. Uh we got whales up here in case did you know? And also this seaside painting. Can you not have a single painting of just land in this house? I know that you're by the ocean. I know that you're like into it, but you could have a painting of land. It's allowed. Another bedroom that's got vaguely hotel vibes, uh, mostly, mostly with this TV opposite the bed so you can destroy your circadian rhythm. Um, and it connects to the balcony out onto the ocean. Uh, the, the blue, I guess, balances the white and cream. And it's, of course, not all white on white on white. So I, I give the colors a pass. Here's that pool. We've got a circle chair. That's very groovy. 
Uh, here's that fire pit we were looking at before. Are those rocking chairs? Have they surrounded the fire pit with rocking chairs? That is a bizarre choice. I don't know that I disagree with it, but it is strange. Um, I kind of now want to be like in a rocking chair in front of a fire. That sounds incredible, but what a choice to make. Oh, we've got another bathroom. Uh, this one seems a little smaller. This piece of the wall is not fully connected. That, that's, there's like something behind there. That's a secret passage. It, that's where they keep the secrets, the state secrets. That's where the means of production is stored. We need to go seize it. Another hotel room. Um, at least this one has a nice, interesting window up here. Uh, but we got a double queen room with a, with a TV opposite the beds. It's literally just a hotel room. Um, this one too. I, I mean, they've got a formula for these rooms, truly. Another bathroom. This one that has the his and hers sinks way apart, just in case you really hate your spouse. And uh, a reasonably sized shower in the middle. I'll give it that. And there's a, a window in the shower, which is, it's com totally fogged over. Um, here we got a, a view from above. How did they, they probably did a drone for this, I assume. But uh, they are wealthy, so they may, have, may, they may have used a helicopter. Here's that outdoor dining table. God, that's a lot of grass. And here's the ocean front. All of this is going to be under the sea soon. And, uh, and then their property will be uh, significantly less attractive. All right, so that was this house. I feel like we didn't, we, we didn't get a lot of context for what we were looking at. And we got a lot of single angles on rooms. So I feel like I, I didn't get... A, a deep understanding of the house aside from the fact that it's vaguely boring and uh, you know it's not not offensive in any way other than the excessive ocean paraphernalia um and this and 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 the fucking murals all right here's here's something i'll pick on for them but do you think the person that did the Italian villa mural in the wine room also did the seaside golf course mural here? I bet it was. Ah, look, it's the same style and everything. That's ah, stupid. Well, this is, uh, this is Massachusetts. I guess that's about what I expected. Um, it's bland. It's bland, blue blood aristocracy. And way too into the ocean. That's that's exactly what I would gather from the state of Massachusetts uh, wealthy. So, uh, if you saw anything that you think I missed, or if you uh, have any thoughts, anything you'd like me to start uh, adding to these videos, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.